Hey, what's up, everybody? Just dropped off my son Sunday, and uh, I'm driving home. I figured I'd make a video vlog for Pumping Up. This may not be up at all. So my truck's pretty loud. And I, I don't know. I'm not big on video driving videos, you know. So we'll see. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna let you know. Since it's Sunday, that sometimes is my cheat day, right? But today it is not my cheat day because I did not make my goal weight. I wanted to be under 205. And although I dropped down to 205 flat last week, this week um, I did not make it. I'm like 206 right now. So I know weight loss is not linear, it's goofy. But I, okay, cheat days is really like reward days, you know, and I should just say reward days, but most people probably don't get it. And um, really, it's a reward because that means I've achieved my goal, surpassed my goal for the week to myself. And, um, <coughs> that means I can afford the calories because I've been in a deficit for the week. A lot of people probably wonder exactly how I diet. Um, I say I'm fat adapted, but I count calories. I also use IF. Um, one of the things... I've said before, as you see, I eat like colossal big 100 protein bars if I want. I am a strict dieter when it's time to be strict, and not so strict when it's not time to be strict. So, my diet style is kind of all over the place because. I don't believe in restriction of carbohydrates all the time. And I'm super ketogenic today, just so you know I can taste it, which is the worst feeling. Um, but it's Sunday and I didn't take my reward day because I'm 206. So what did I do this morning? I woke up kind of early and if I probably would have weighed in like two hours later and woke up later I might have made my weight but it really wasn't worth it to me I wanted to get get stuff done you know so I went and I hit the gym at like 7 30 in the morning I was at the gym and I hit an hour of cardio I burned like 570 calories it said right there then I came home and my son was still asleep because he's a gamer and I was like, ah, all right, I'll take a shower, get some other clothes for the gym, because I'm, I'm hitting the gym more than once a day right now. And I'll go do um, some shoulders today and some cardio. So I went to my other gym, Extreme Fitness, at around noon. And I did uh, shoulders and I had traps, hit them pretty hard. My traps are coming in nice. I think that's just from getting leaner though. You see the separation makes them look bigger. And then I went and I did the stair climber machine, which is one of my favorites for like dropping water. And then uh, I did that for 20 minutes and then I was like, well the heck with this, I'm hitting uh, another 20 minutes of just a fast walk, you know, keep my heart rate raised on the, um, was it a treadmill? So, I figured it out with my workout and everything. I was about 900 calories burned out just this morning. And I went home, my son was up. And I was like, oh, okay, you want, you know, you want, like, obviously a late breakfast, early lunch. Late 
lunch. He woke up late. But for me, I pushed back my meal plan until after my second training, and I knew I needed some protein, so I cooked up a couple of sausage patties, Bob Evans sausage patties, totally zero carb in butter, zero carb. And then um, I told him, you know, if you want some more food, I can make you like hamburgers or whatever, because he's a kid, right? And then I was like, oh wait, uh, for our salads yesterday, we opened a pack of bacon. I want to cook up that bacon and get rid of it so you can eat that bacon. And uh, I cooked up the bacon. I had two pieces of bacon, but I think I, I think I might have had three. But I put on my fitness pal, I had three big pieces of bacon. So my calories ain't shit today. Um, super ketogenic. Now the thing about ketosis is you don't pee out a whole lot of calories when you're in ketosis. You can be low carb and burn just as much calories. The whole point of what I'm doing right now is I'm in a super calorie deficit. I will have to eat some serious protein tonight, but I like to keep my big meal at night so I go to bed full. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make salads tonight. I might not. I might. I'm kind of feeling like I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So, the whole point of this is, is that I'm not really a ketogenic dieter. I'm, I am off and on. I'm not really just an IFer because I mix in ketogenics. And um, I definitely don't fit the mold because I count calories, you know? And the whole point of dieting and to lose weight, it's not easy. You can lose weight, and I think I just said this in the other video I did the other night. You can lose weight if you're like 400 pounds and not count calories, do it ketogenic diets. Yeah, I'm not 400 pounds, I'm 206 pounds. So in order for me to lose weight, I have to drop calories, okay? And that's the thing, when you're on a ketogenic diet, a lot of times you can get down to like 210 without counting calories because you don't want to eat that much. But you still have to count calories if you want to be ripped, you want to be lean, you have to count calories. And I'm not where I want to be. I want to be at 195 pounds. I've set it on cam. I'm not letting it go. And I'm not taking my cheat day today, which that's another thing, like carb nights. I use that, you know, uh, carb backloading. I use that, those kind of methods too. Taking my carbohydrates in at nighttime after after my muscles want to soak it up so but right now I haven't carved at all today and I don't know that I'm going to tomorrow I'll probably make salads and you know a moderate proportion of meats but it's all counted you know whatever I gotta have a calorie deficit now I can't eat as much as a lot of bodybuilders um, that go online and they say I mean um, like even smaller bodybuilders they'll be like I mean 2800 calories and they're ripped <coughs> the problem with that for me right now I can't eat 2800 calories because I'm just not that active I go to the gym and I work out for an hour and I need to get the hell out of the gym. I don't really talk to anybody at the gym. I'm not social. And in an hour, I'm soaked. I'm ready to go. So I go back home, do my thing, get cleaned up, get another outfit ready, maybe have a meal, 
and then I hit the gym again later. And then usually I hit the other gym because it's it's the psychological thing for me of going to two different gyms. I just get better workouts. So I can't be in the gym four hours like Matt Obris and I can't do the cardio like for more than an hour. It drives me crazy. And I'm not, I don't have a super fast metabolism when I'm not moving around. For, and you would think that I do because I do have a lot of muscle, but I track my calories and I don't have a big BMR, you know, so. It's important to track your calories, know what, what, how many calories you can hold per day, you know. If anything, you know, like, please know that you have to count your calories if you want to be lean. And I'm hoping someday this all works out and I'm going to be just freaking lean as hell. And you can see that, yeah, counting calories is the way to go. You can have any diet style you want, and I surely don't expect anyone to ever follow my diet style because I have no diet. I, I use every <coughs> bumps, nice Michigan roads. I use every um, biohack and every trick to get where I need to do the least amount to get 45 years old. That's another thing, I'm 45. I want to get shredded, you know? So, if you're um, a vegan, you know, that's fine. If you're ketogenic, that's fine. If you're an IFer, that's fine. If you're just a counter, counting, a calorie counter, that's also fine. You have to find out what works for you, you know, and whatever works for you, use it to the full advantage. But it's important, you gotta work out. And I disagree a little bit with some people that say, uh, Cardio is just for your calorie deficit. See, like if you're doing bicycle, yeah, calorie is for your deficit. Um, and certain cardio stresses your muscles more than other cardio. So, one thing I've learned is a stair climber, not like a step master, but the stair climber, my calves grow off of that because I put my feet halfway back and I got the calves flexed the whole time and they're growing. I get a workout. I can't do that every day, but I have noticed gains on my calves and of course they're getting leaner. So I don't always think that cardio is just calorie deficit because my legs on that stair climber also feel just so freaking hard, you know, and they blow up. Now, I do believe you got to work out legs, too, which kind of sucks, because it's really hard after you work out legs to do cardio. So. Alright, so that's a little bit about what's going on. I'm not pissed at myself for missing my goal this week, because it's within my grasp, but I want you to know something about that. Ran out of memory. All right. What I was saying is that I wanted you to know something. That the one thing about me is that I discipline myself. And in order to achieve what you want in life, you have to have discipline. A lot of times, um, people don't have discipline in their life so they don't get what what they want but they want stuff but they're not willing to work for it you have to be willing to work 
enough for it. No matter if you're calorie counting, or if you're ketogenic, or if you're an if -er, or if you're a carb nighter, you have to be willing to make sacrifices for the things that you want. So I'm not taking a cheat day today. And I worked out more than I usually do. A lot of times too, I get um, people in real life that actually hate on the way I diet. So I don't talk about the way I diet much in real life. I also get a lot of people telling me that I do it wrong and they've got a better way, right? So, um, I don't ask anyone for advice on how to diet. I think since I lost 120 some odd pounds, I know how to diet. And I think because I'm making it a lifestyle that I can live with, adding the carbs at proper times and proper intervals, counter, count, counting the calories and working out every day. Holy, Michigan roads are bumpy. I wanted to also say that um, fat meets fire. Fat meets fire. I was watching one of his videos and he was doing a Q&A. And um, I really like Fat Meets Fire because I think me and him actually have a lot in common because we were both heavy. Um, he uses IF a little bit, but he's into training and stuff. Not ketogenic, he's a calorie counter, I believe, but I don't know everything about Fat Meets Fire. I like watching so he was doing a QA and somebody asked is he scared to ever get fat again? And he said no or obese, sorry. And his answer was no. My answer is yes. I'm always scared to get fat again. I don't think it's anything that I'll ever get away from. And I think the only way that I will never get fat again is to be afraid to be fat again. Also, it's really important for me to get shredded. And I think from my experiences in the past that if I get shredded, it'll be easier to stay lean. I do not want to get bigger, like, it's kind of like a side effect of being fat. You have a little bit more than what other people do to start off with. So being able to be fat is a great advantage for muscle, you know, and being natural. And I am 100% natural. But, so, when I work out with weights, the reason I work out with weights is because having more muscle gives me more calories that I burn. But I do not want to get bigger. I do not want to be a bodybuilder. I have aspirations of looking like a bodybuilder. But I'm 45 years old and I'm happy with, you know, my arms, my shoulders, my traps, the size of my legs, the calves. So when I get bigger, it's just a side effect of working out every day. So that's my video driving in the car, talking about what I do. Because people are always going to ask. And some people ask and they don't even listen. You know, they're like, what kind of diet are you doing, bro? Or what kind of diet are you doing, Jeff? And as soon as I say, like, a, like a one sentence out of my mouth, because my diet would be super complicated for anybody, because I'm using all the diets. So, as soon as I start talking, 
you're telling me well that's not that doesn't work first of all I would have to say a hell of a lot more than a sentence to explain what I do and second of all I don't go around telling people my diet and saying you should do this I think you've seen in my other videos that whatever works for you do that but you got to get to know your body right I, I think I know my body right now so yeah I eat carbs at times and I have reward times and uh, I indulge and I eat a lot of meats and I eat salads I eat basically everything that everybody else in the world eats except for macaroni and cheese I don't eat that too often and well you saw the other day I ate french fries and three mozzarella sticks from McDonald's that was the first time in a year that I ate at McDonald's so and that was because it was uh, carb loading you know <coughs> Your body has to be able to handle carbohydrates to a certain extent or you're not going to be healthy. So adding carbohydrates into your body is a good thing. Abstaining from anything for the rest of your life will not work. Also right now I'm getting leaner. and. So my diet's stricter, my, my training's way stricter, but when I was 215, I sat at 215 for like two months, I didn't even watch my diet, I just worked out. The thing is, you don't have to like have a super close grip on your diet to stay the same way. You know, and you get into habits of what you can get away with and what you can't. But you always have to be aware of what you're doing. And once in a while, you've got to discipline yourself. Isn't that weird? you got to discipline yourself. Alright, that's my vlog for today. This is a really long one, and I'm not usually like this, and it's going to be hard to title. I'll just call it The Car Ride. Part 2. Alright everybody, that's pumping up. I'll check you guys later.